dippers on and re up. All of the homies, they can't get enough. Stuck to the couch after taking a puff. Concentrate. Breaking it up. If this shit crumbles, we making a buck. Drop a few crumbles on top of the skillet. Close up the cap, hit the button, and kill it. Concentrate. Yeah, what's up? It's Cadillac Ron. You're watching the Dirtbag Dance Show. Counterproductive, bitch. Boy, I got my mind on cake. Boy, boy, I got my mind on cake. Hustle every night and day. Boy, I got my mind on cake. What? Cool. Oh, shit. We're gonna just let it rock for a minute. You want me to just play it? We got our own fucking song. What you know about that shit? Dirtbag Dan. Huh. Yo. Abrupt stop. Yes. Bam. It's the Caustic and Skyler show. Welcome. Why is this happening? Is the first question of the night. To which I have no answers. I'm uh, I'm sitting in the big boy's seat. My name is Caustic. I'm with... Uh, I elevated my seat, but now my mic's too low, so I'm actually going to come down a little bit. I'm going to awkwards out a little bit. No, I'm glad that you shared before you did it. I think we're good on that. I like it. What is your name, though? Oh, my name's Skylar. My name, hello to the uh, viewing audience. Skylar fucking G is in this bitch. This is probably going to be the worst show to date. Uh, this is episode one of the Caustic and Skylar show. There's been talks of this for a long time. Honestly, none of us know what's going to happen over the next two hours. We, we, we actually just had a little sound drop out, which is pretty pretty epic. What, what, is, what is the sound drop? Oh, the, the sound dropped out for a second there. So, there's so nobody heard what I was saying. Right. Just for a second. Is it only when I talk? Yeah. Fuck. Nobody, nobody cares. I know, but like... It's not. It's, it's a not long. Be important. It's I, a really know. long show. I, I, I need to talk. You should talk more. All right, I'm gonna do that. Who's the fucking host of this show? I don't know who is hosting. Why this show? our names are like billed equally on the card? Uh, I feel like it could go anywhere. What sounds right now? more naturally to go first? I think um, Lord Skyler. Lord Fe- Skyler. Feature- this is the first I've heard of Lord Skyler featuring the. Uh, stylings of <laughs> Jester Caustic the third. What is this like a fucking vaudeville show? I don't know, man. I don't just. <laughs> I feel like you would be more suited as like someone. I'm like I'm the, I'm the sidekick. No, like you would. You know, I I've seen you. Jump. I'm like I'm you the juggle ju- pretty good. The Jester sidekick to your lordship. I mean, that's what you're saying. You asked me what sounded like more natural to me, so I told you. So I'm gonna go with the Caustic and Skyler show because it just flows off the tongue. I mean, for me, better. Welcome to fucking Sons of Anarchy. Hey, Look at our fucking beards. This shit is crazy. I know we're making up for all the uh, lack of all dirt. the all the lack of uh, what thankfully is dirt's mostly covered face. Uh, you're not gonna get any of that shit for two hours, and uh, you should all write us a thank you note just for that. That's what I think. Uh, dirt is currently on tour in the fucking somewhere in America. Uh, I think he did an Instagram in an outhouse at some point, like. Yeah, and uh, what what <laughs> his antics have just been? He's been on a lot of water slides, a lot of water slides, indoor water slides, my view, <laughs> which I imagine is weird. It's probably like the only building in like a Can two mile learn. fucking radius. It's just like it, <laughs> like this whole town is at this water park together. <laughs> if, like, if it's that hot outside, he should probably go run. It's like all the lose happening. a little bit of that weight that I'm obviously seeing when he's riding around in his <laughs> fucking swim trunks like that. Jesus Christ! When you just fucking when you live in Wyoming and the fucking water slide is the most exciting thing in the world. Well, yeah, you're already at fucking Kmart. You might as well go to the water slides. <laughs> <laughs> One stop shopping. Bring the kids. This is fish sandwiches on Fridays. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm going to start drinking because this isn't going very well so far. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, we're also going to probably call some very irrelevant rappers. Um, yeah, yeah. We're going to get their opinions yeah. on shit. Because uh, nobody cares. Because nobody would think about them if it wasn't for us. Because we, cause we actually care. Because we give a fuck about you. So with that said, I think we're going to call Frank Stacks right now. Let's, let's call he, him. Let's see if we, he can save this show somehow. I'm just going to smoke more weed. I think you should. Because apparently you're an AA now, and I just found out about this shit today. No, I'm not an AA. Are you not? No. Oh, God, that's because no. that would not make it anonymous anymore. Yes. I'm Thank sorry. you. You just threw me under the bus to the world. Whoa. What? Say it again. I just, I just realized I got the dopest ringtone ever. What is, what is your ringtone, Frank Stax? It's like farts. <laughs> it's, it's farts. It's just farts? Is it like somebody you know's farts, or like, did you download this shit off the internet? What happened? I synthesizer farts. You synthesizer farts. Like, yeah. not, like not real farts. Like every rap is a joke song? No, it's like real farts, but it's like real robot farts. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so you've been reading Transformers lately, or what? Nah, man, I need to catch up on that shit, but I fall back. Motherfuckers are trying to catch up on Walking Dead and shit, and Frank Stax is somewhere in the world trying to hunt down old Transformers comics. Man, I got him. I just ain't read him yet. That's a, see, he already fucking acquired them and just doesn't have the time to pursue his worldly activities. So what's new, Frank Stax? Tell us about yourself. What's going on, Sky with Jesus? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I miss your pretty face. Aww. It's all covered with some fucking dude's dick hair now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, yours. It's mine. You can tell by the the light of the brown. Are you guys just in their back end garage and without their back end? Yeah. That's fucking <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's tight that Frank Stax has no idea that the show even changed because he's never seen it since he was on it. A scarecrow of their back end, but like <laughs> you a, know, beard, a beard of pubic hair and just sat him in the corner. We thought of that, but we couldn't collect enough cat shit. <laughs> Like, how many recordings does Tyler have of Gia? Gia! Gia! So what's going on? What's the segment? What's this? What's the... the segment is we're fucking calling Frank Stacks and seeing why he fucking yeah. fell off the face of Where'd the earth. Where'd you go, Frank Stacks? And I haven't heard a Frank Stacks song or seen a Frank Stacks battle since... Uh, this fucking show must really be falling off. This show. If we're calling you, it's... Okay, first off... <laughs> It's our first show. It's our pilot episode. So yeah, don't fucking us, disrespect us, us like that. Give us a little that. credit. There's no dirtbag here. We gave you that courtesy, so you don't have to fucking talk to him. <laughs> that's, that's good. At least I can talk. And secondly, we're going to remind people that you're alive, which is ultimately yeah, best for your career, I think. Or I could just ask you really personal questions that you don't want to answer. It doesn't matter. It's robot farts. Robot farts? So do you want to tell me about your rap career? Or you want to answer really personal questions? Uh, we can do both. We'll mix it up, man. All right. What is what is the last record you put out, and when is the next one coming out? When was the last one? Yes. Last one was beginning of 2013. Beginning of 2013, and which one was that? Yeah. What album was that? Yeah, the, uh, the parody. It was the YMCA AMG. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, I it's it's actually a a very good record. Uh, I think people were thrown off because the cover looked wildly like homosexual cartoons. Yeah. So <laughs> wildly like, <laughs> wildly like, like, like. Well, I was trying to soften the blow of saying you got some gay ass cartoons on the cover, Frank. I mean, I don't know how else. Like, how? Shout out to Class Watch, dude from Ireland, drew the artwork. Somehow he turned like Lil Wayne and Drake and Two Chainz and oh, into somehow he turned them to look gay. <laughs> the village people, like he took the village people and made it them. Kind of like DJ Khaled, the Indian. You know, he's fucking Indian. <laughs> I don't remember the specific village people personally. Rick, Rick Ross is the cop because he's fuck cop. Like it was, just, it was too good. All right, all right, I feel you. So it was basically it was like Drake and Lil Wayne kissing each other and being weird and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, with... Kanye West with a finger in DJ Khaled's butt, and, uh, <laughs> uh, I 
think he was actually also blowing candles out of two changes asshole. <laughs> that's, not the that's real pictures. <laughs> this is like real like TMZ type shit that has yeah, been like real. immortalized into art forever so go, go, by some go kid go in Ireland. Go to com and you just click it. If you just click it on the picture of six gay dudes, you just click the picture <laughs> and it instantly downloads to your fucking <laughs> <laughs> it just gives you a virus. It's like instant AIDS or what? You just get computer AIDS immediately. No, it's, it's ear hole AIDS. <laughs> That's that EHA, boy. All right. <laughs> Are you working on anything? What, what's coming out? I'm working on a few things. One of them I can't talk about because we have like an announcement date. Because we're, we're fucking homosexual like that, so we're not going to tell you what it is, but I'm going to tell you that it's fucking tight as fuck. That's sick. And it's me and another rapper that you all know, but I'm not. We can't. We can't say nothing about it. As long as he's but better, I'm, right? I mean, I mean, the no. less information about it you give us, the better, because yeah. uh, basically that what, way what none you're of us can is... find it or download it or listen to it ever. Oh, it... he's doing an album with El Money. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I am doing an album with El Money, and that's gonna be rap as a joke. The album. Holy shit. Just that's, right, that's it? They've never done that before. That's it. It's called Rap is a Joke for the album. And it's like, uh, it's not like rape, AIDS, like, Why? and hookers and shit. It's not like over the top, grotesque humor. It's like actual humor. It's like comedy. All right. You, would, you could probably see it on TV and it's like, oh, you know what? I can't watch that. You know, it's not. There's no fingers going in the asshole. So, so <laughs> rap is it okay? Uh, so rap, rap is a joke. It's for the kids now, is what you're saying? It, it's not for the kids at all. I would never let my kids watch it. But I'm just saying, in comparison to the rape rap, it's good. Was it? You said watch it. Are you are you hinting onto some kind of rap is a joke visual? I mean, I'm just aid? saying there might be a couple videos already coming oh, out. I don't know. Yeah. It could be. It I, is a video we got coming out that is. It is child friendly, but it has the F word. Is it because children? But it has the F word. It's okay. very alluring. All this vagueness. <laughs> You've always had a fondness of children. Hmm. And of the F word. Hmm. And the F word. <laughs> we, we have another album coming out with the album. So you can't say shit about one of them, and one of them is is with L money and kind of for the kids, but don't ever let kids anywhere near it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's, and that's part of the reason that's why we're taking so long to put anything out. All right. We're working on so much shit too. Have you? Do you feel as you've gotten older, you've lost the passion for making jokes about rape and AIDS? Uh, you ever kick a dead horse? Uh, I I have. I think I actually have done that. I'm just gonna kick out animals. I'll come back to the horse. But I'm just kicking out animals for a little bit. Why do you? We're gonna we're gonna release the Freestyle Friday album. Oh shit! The Freestyle Fridays are fucking awesome. I watch those a million fucking times just because you guys are hilarious without even trying. Uh, I wish you guys would just get fucked up and do it because that seems to be the best. No, I actually had a plan I wanted to do where one day, like, we go in there and we do a freestyle Friday and we're just hella high on weed, right? Hella high on weed? That's good to be high on weed. The weed. Oh, and one day we go in and we're just hella high. We're just hella drunk, right? And then, so two freestyle Fridays, one of them the weed, one of them drunk. And then the next one, fuck it, let's just do a bunch of fucking coke. We're just going to fuck coke out of our mind, and we're going to do a free If you don't call me for this, we're not fucking friends anymore. And then we're going to do one where we're just drinking a bunch of fucking things, got that coke, and fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? And we just all just, we're going to go, literally, probably leaning on something while we're doing it. Yeah, I'm going to do one of these. fuck it, we're going to do mushrooms on one, we're going to fucking take acid, I'm going to fucking shoot up some fucking heroin, we're going to smoke crack, I'm going to get any kind of drug. And the whole Freestyle Friday concept is just going to be war on every fucking drug. Holy I, shit. I feel like I like the new Frank Stacks. I think this is going really well. I think we yeah, just had a break. Knowing, through. knowing me, I'd probably die just after the Coke one. So three episodes in, it's so. <laughs> Jesus. If you die on Coke, Spoiler man, you alert. fucked up hella bad. I don't know, man. I took a bite out of a Coke rock one time. And was... <laughs> you took a bite out of a Coke rock one time. I was in Vegas and dude was like, take a bite out of it. And I was like, why? He's like, dude, I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I really believe that happened. Fuck. Jesus Christ, Frank. Are you okay, man? Like, I like you. I used to live, like, across the street from you, and then I saw you, like, twice a year after that. Um, yeah. We used to play uh, basketball and shit together, man. What happened? Well, for one, I fucking broke my fucking foot. 
You did break your fucking foot. What are you pointing? Don't give me the just fucking point at shit. Hey, hey. You know, you I'm trying my fucking to best to do the fucking show. Give me a fucking break, Skyler. Jesus fucking Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm cough medicine. I <coughs> What's more, boys? A one, a two. I'm cough medicine. I help you when you cough. But little kids should keep hands off. Don't take medicine by yourself. You just leave us on the shelf, okay? I'm sorry. Frank. You got booed out. I'm sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't allow getting yelled at like that. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put baby back in the corner real quick, Frank. Can you hold on a second? <laughs> Is there a baby in here? How can we get a baby, but we can't find the fucking horse mask? The horse mask? It's right over there. Where the f- I'm not going to go get it. Jesus fucking Christ. Frank? <laughs> what's going on? So you broke your foot, so you don't want to hang out with me anymore. Uh, I broke my foot, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here fucking not out here. I didn't break my foot. I, something happened. I was talking about when I got two bone contusions, a fracture in the brain, and the doctor was like, well... You're gonna die this week. <laughs> you're gonna die? Is that you're gonna you die this week from a foot I mean, injury? Pretty much what he told me. I was like, so you're saying there's a chance I'm never gonna live? Not, e- not even like you're gonna be a cripple. So that like- sounds like diabetes or something that you got. That doesn't like. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. He's like, well, we can't do anything because it's you know the worst possible spot on your foot. So just just admit it. How do you get diabetes in your foot, man? I never understood that. I think you had to do when I took a bite of that cocaine rod. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. A lot of shit could have happened to you that night you don't even know about. Exactly. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, uh, what's your favorite magazine to read when you shit? Oh, fuck, dude. I'll be reading um, Guns and Ammo. Guns and Ammo is good. Mm, good one. No, I've never read Guns and Ammo. Before. You no, should because should. it would fucking make your rap career wonderful, probably. Great, great no, article. Guns and Ammo, I'll be on Smack right now. Like, I got that click, click. <laughs> I got this. Is that how it sounds? Frank Stacks, what's your favorite Big T song? My favorite who? Your favorite Big T song. Who? Big T. I don't know. <laughs> he sucks. Who cares? Um, if you tell me three of his songs, I'll pick the best title. No, well, I can't. I don't. I don't know three songs. <laughs> I don't know one song. <laughs> Thanks for participating in this joke, though. Um, what a fuck! I just lost Scott. Take over. You got it. Ask him some meaningful shit. Hey, Frank. Yes, sir. If you could pick a fight between a tiger and a mm. gang of midgets. All dressed like tigers, like I'm talking like twelve or thirteen of them. How, what twelve you, to thirteen. What tigers. would you rather fight? If I, would I rather fight a tiger or twelve bitches dressed like tigers? <laughs> Wait. Um, what the fuck? I mean, it's like, of course I would rather fight twelve fucking bitches dressed like tigers. Oh yeah. All right, hey, I'm not gonna die. <laughs> I, I, I think was, twelve midgets could kill you. I was winging that. I think twelve midgets I mean, could kill you. I think they you. could put up a no, fight. Because you know what? I've been waiting to fight twelve midgets my whole life. <laughs> I've been so excited. I've been fucking pissed if I had a coke. I would be that. You, you've been talking about cocaine a lot on this show. Yeah, uh, I think there's some built-up aggression. Right. All right. Uh, next question. Um, what what are your your favorite women to masturbate to outside of your wife? Well, uh, the fucking. <laughs> the, can you give me a top three? I didn't. <laughs> I mean, just whichever one I get to on the screen, and I'm like, Whoa, <laughs> that wasn't Matt Garrett's fucking. So the first yeah. one? <laughs> that one looks like she's been crying. I like this. Yeah, I mean, whichever one is there when it's time to unleash. Oh my god. I don't be like, oh, look up fucking. <laughs> Alright, did you just say unleash? I think we've inter- ended this interview. <laughs> Final question? Final question. Final question. How how big exactly are your wife's tits? Like, broad size or like? Yeah, like, well, how else do you do you measure them in like rocks or what? Mouthfuls? I mean, I'm saying like, rep this shit. All are different. It just depends on how you want to look, make it look. 
That's crazy. You're a fucking expert in this shit. I'm glad I asked. Yeah. That's amazing. They're big. They're fucking huge. So, congrats on that. Yeah, yeah. This is probably why you don't leave the house very often. That makes a lot of sense. No, I water them every day. <laughs> Oh shit! Ah, oh, this is a good interview, Frank. Hey, so uh, don't hang up. Do you have like a uh, like a set, a set <laughs> don't date, hang up a set date for anything coming out, like yeah, for for your next project or the one mysterious project with the mystery rapper who's better that um, well, mysteriously has videos. When uh, when Dirtbag Dan gets back from wherever the fuck he's, he's at, he's probably not going to come he's back. He's water sliding. He's, he's taking a well, tour of the really, United States indoor water slides. Tour with my engineer. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Paxton's young, young water Pax- sliding with him. Paxton every is on tour. I, every time my engineer goes on tour, it fucking ruins my life. So, they're back in. Somehow, you're fucking ruining my life. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. So, when my engineer gets back, Chris, we're about to put, put out the uh, free on Friday. Hell so, yeah. So, final, final, final question. Last one. Final question. Final question of the night. Will there ever be a Frank Stacks return to battling? Mm. Oh, man, I wish. That's not a promising I wanna, answer. I want to just, man, I just want to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like, could you slow it down for me? No, but it's like, yeah, basically what I said was... But when, my point is... How do you do that? I've been offered... <laughs> Cadillac Ron 75 times and they're like oh you don't want to battle with him? Battle with him. so only Cadillac Ron is your that's the only one they're offering you is Caddy Ron Every, everybody just like hey you know what I really think you should battle Cadillac Ron and like the next day somebody else will call me from another battle he's like hey we want you to battle Cadillac Ron I'm like what the fuck is this Cadillac Ron conspiracy fucking bullshit I'm hanging out with Cadillac Ron right now what the fuck are they talking about <laughs> there's a good chance Cadillac Ron won't show up to the battle anyways so I'm pretty sure he was supposed to be on this show and he didn't. Yeah, show I don't up. know if he was supposed to be here I tonight, but there's a chance. I that I'm going to go in any room and call every single person a faggot. That's and tight. And like, you know what? We can't be having him do that because it's going to hurt our feelings. I feel like, I feel like it shit needs to make a comeback. I feel like everybody takes himself a little too seriously and needs well, a little fucking shut up faggot in their life. I think that's part of the problem. I think part of the problem is that everybody knows that I don't take it seriously and that I can just walk in there and fucking not even give a shit and probably win anyways but they're like you know what dude we don't even fucking want this guy around let's bring Uno Labos in here let's get come on let's get he take it serious let's take this thing don't tell me you haven't been offered Labos a million times also oh yeah Labos too yeah what is is there anybody else they offer you all the time Uno Labos was paying for them to get me to battle him so I was like wow that makes sense he gave me $50 for your phone number once Jesus this is what Uno Lavos does when he's not washing windows. He's, he's I thought he was a milk. He can have two jobs, bro. Don't fucking act like he's not a human being and shit. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. right. Uno Lavos has two jobs. He washes windows on the weekends. He also delivers milk every day. I think, day, I think if he washes people's windows, doorstep. he's a door-to-door milk delivery? Yeah. He they wears, still like, have that? The whole white suit. I was here for the conversation. I do remember. Do you just We've established that he wore yeah. the suit and delivered milk. Yeah, he does. Milk. Door to, he's like got an old, man. like... No, but you know what, though? I love Uno Lavos. I'm a fan of him because I heard he raped somebody. Just, like, actually? Wow. Yeah, like, in real life. Where did you hear that at? On Facebook, he's like, boy, I didn't rape her. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy I was like, shit. I do that. You're going to jail now. <laughs> you got fucking balls. Uh, yeah. Oh, That's fuck. what it takes to rape someone, is balls. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> I'm glad we got to talk to you tonight, Frank. Yeah, this is good. This is a good talk we had. Am, yeah. I, am I ever going to see you again? No. All right. <laughs> Well, uh, if I, I might sign my kid up for soccer or something, we can get it cracking. You know what I'm saying? Well, you better hurry the fuck up before you get too old and all the other kids kick his fucking ass. I'm the youngest fucking person in the world. I don't know about yourself. I got this shit, bro. I'm going to coach the team and do everything. Oh, no. Nah, he's he's good, bro. He's already getting contract offers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Showing up at the house. Me. My parents signed me up for soccer when I was like nine. Yes. And all those kids have been playing soccer their whole life. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> they started I no idea. 
I'm like on the wrong side of the field. I'm kicking the ball the wrong way. They're like, you know what? Just stand in the fucking goal. I stand in the fucking goal. My own fucking team guy, he's fucking running at me. With Your the own team guy. See you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to kick a goal on me. We're the same team. So I was like, I let it go in the goal because I didn't think it would count, obviously. The team. And they were like, you fucking idiot. I was like, you're my fucking team. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm never playing soccer again. <laughs> or any team sport. I I like soccer personally. Oh no. I don't enjoy it. Don't give me that look. I, I enjoy watching my wife play soccer. She'd be like headbutting bitches. Like she'd be in red card every five minutes. I'm Dude, like, she was a, she plays like competitively, right? Girl soccer is fucking yeah, girl soccer is fucking tight. Oh, it's violent. They don't like they don't cry like dudes, like dudes would be like, Oh, it's me. Girls just like keep hitting each other. When it comes to other bitches, they're relentless. There's violence. They're not tripping. They can fucking. I don't fucking... want fucking soccer on TV. The dudes are like, huh? I sprained. I sprained myself. <laughs> I got a hangnail. I got a hangnail. Hey, you're not gonna talk about this shit while I'm on the show, all right? No, that's another show. You could talk about shit about soccer all day. When was the last time you played soccer? When was the last time you played soccer? I fucking kicked a soccer ball around fucking Lake Merritt yesterday, bitch. Yeah, that's fucking playing soccer, right? Boom. Done more than you, old non basketball playing motherfucker. Hey, who, what? Who? Magic Johnson's my uncle. What's up? Magic Johnson's your uncle? That's right. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Oh, shit. Yeah, we wouldn't happen to also be your father, would he? Um, well, he did have AIDS. His son's also gay as fuck. He had AIDS. Yeah, he doesn't have AIDS anymore, obviously. Yeah. Nobody I mean, gets AIDS forever. AIDS is a repeat offense. <laughs> I guess that's oh, the end of this phone call. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, if, did you guys remember when I made those memes? <laughs> memes or whatever they're called? Memes, yes. With all the battle rap guys? Yes, I remember the memes. Yeah, you're you going to bring them back? Guys. They're coming back? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, bro. Some, some people got really mad. <laughs> <laughs> they always get mad. Who gives a shit? I mean, like, literally, like, the Taurus was really angry with me. Like, he, he was really, like... You pissed off Soros with the name? I mean, it was pretty funny. He was like, you're way funnier than that. This is not humor. This is just rude. <laughs> he gave you, like, a stern talking to. I'm not mad. I'm <laughs> disappointed. Like, no, no. <laughs> Bro, I said... Oh, Soros, you're my little everything. gentleman. Two-time everything, even herpes. And he didn't understand why it's funny. I was like, dude, it's funny because you can't get it twice. <laughs> but you can. <laughs> You're two time everything. You're two time herpes. Pumpkinhead, Pumpkinhead fucking started fucking crying and he was like tagging a bunch of people on, on post. Like, did you see what he said about me? He said I'm never going to be famous and I'll never know it. I can't believe he was saying that about me. <laughs> it's a really good pH impression. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. I'm like, didn't, I just fucking, didn't I just make you lose the KOTD chain? Didn't I just do that to you? Oh yeah, remember when you did oh, that? He did that, yeah. yeah. Remember when I did that? He released like a diss but song went, to Pumpkinhead a week just, before his battle. Just, and, actually, and Pumpkinhead was too fucking like oh, stubborn to like fucking not like respond to the song. So we like spent all his time like trying to write this song back to Frank and then lost his fucking battle. Yeah. It was amazing. Well, then, and I, it's funny because I emailed Pro Rich and I was like, hey, bro, just so you know, I'm about to make this song about Pumpkinhead to throw his game off. And it's going to be fucking hilarious because he's going to try to write a song back at me and put all his energy into it. And he's going you know, to lose to you and you suck. He's going to lose to you and you fucking suck. <laughs> and Pro Rich is like, yeah, bro, fucking yeah. <laughs> and fucking guess what happened? It worked. It fucking worked. It fucking worked. That's amazing. Tony Madness owes me a blowjob because of that. We made that. Tony Madness owes you a blowjob. Huh. He was like, bro, it's I forgot what we were talking weird. about. That's all. I will like... fucking blow you. Fuck. All right, can I end the call right now? Can I just hang up? Frank, I have to hang up on you on the note that Madness owes you a blowjob. I'm going to hang up on you, though. I want to bet he moved to Florida. He did move to Florida. I'm giving him a second like, chance. He moved away so he didn't have to give you a blowjob. That's fucking commitment, though. That's yeah. That's yeah. Hang up. All right, bye. Okay, bye, Frank. That was pretty powerful ending right that there. That was fucking Your phone makes weird. all kinds of cool noises. I know. It's like a little fucking Tron vibrator. All right, hold on.
lot of little kids get hurt this way Cause they can't read what the bottle say So if their tummy feels bad Go and tell your mom or dad And that means you And you And you <coughs> Okay, this is going really rocky so far <laughs> Really rocky Didn't you write things down? Like wasn't there like a plan? Uh, kind of plan, kind of. Were you just telling me you were writing I stuff? I do a little bit. You're like yeah, yeah. Drawing boobs I and stuff. I have a fucking list, bro. I fucking <laughs> I got something going on. I don't have to fucking tell you everything all about right. what I'm doing. I'm, all hey, the time. I'm a, I'm gonna go ahead and trust fall for you. All right, this you're is me giving you the trust fall. So you go ahead and you lead now. Can we do a real trust fall later off the table? Hell no. Why? Fuck. Do you think I actually trust you? I'll fucking do it. You would. You've been drinking. Oh, well, I haven't. I just really. got started, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm down for the trust fall sober. I just want to fall into somebody's arms. You just want to feel the warm embrace? <laughs> I just want someone to touch me. <laughs> so uh, so this is a new segment on the show that is uh, not Dirtbag Dan's show, but our show, the Caustic Skyler show. Yeah, this, and this one. Is a, this is a segment called Battlers We Hate. All right. Battlers, uh, so I'm just going to say a battler and you tell me what you think about him, right, no, Scott? You, you, we, this is an agreed opinion. If you tell me that, you, that you're bringing him up, then obviously... Oh, because it's him. we hate, all yeah, right. Because I, I hate him just as much. All right, so Frank Stacks. Hate him. Fucking can't fucking stand Can't him. even believe you called him, honestly. Like, like you put was, him on the phone like that? Yeah. Unbearable. And just hearing his voice again, like after all, and just like, <laughs> oh, his stories. Oh, my God. So many stories. Just telling us stuff about his life. Oh. Like anybody gives a shit. I know, right? Come on. There we go. Can't Come stand on. it. Loaded Lux. Fuck, man. Fucking shitty. You Garbage. are the fucking worst. Like, I don't even know how they let you battle. Like,. Like, is there no like fucking screening process? Isn't there like I a? I feel like enough of his like a ground to prove yourself about it. You know, like you bring hella grandkids to the battle and you get hella respect and shit. Fuck Nonsense. no, bro. We don't buy that shit. Never. We don't buy that shit. Pisses me off. Like right here, anger. Right in the chest. Fucking Nestle. Nestle. I mean this one kind of. Do you? Ah, awful. Terrible. Fucking terrible boxers ah swinging like gay dudes just always always having a hat on you have that fucking greg norman hat that you fucking wore 11 times it's like a part of your head now and shit fuck that shit fuck the fuck you think you are this isn't fucking black jurassic park you can't be doing this shit they should make a black jurassic park that'd be fucking tight would would that even happen can we cast the black jurassic Park? i feel like i don't know how any of my uh how many of my friends, let alone my black friends, white friends, anything, would actually go to that island knowing that? Like, I personally, I don't think I would go to that island. Well, if you didn't tell a group of black dudes there's a bunch of dinosaurs on the island, they can go for free, they wouldn't go? I don't think they would. I would go for sure. You're not a black dude. Oh, yeah, fuck. I right. mean, they might. I don't. It, maybe if they're all. Like I mean, maybe I could go with them. Like I'm white, I could probably like fly a helicopter. Or would you would go to an island where some dudes like, hey, I want you to come look at these dinosaurs. Oh, maybe it's right not going to fucking rain, and fucking the mailman what from if Seinfeld's the, not going to have a fucking scam to fucking shut everything down and shit. Like, well, if maybe you it read, might be cool. Like, you the read park the book, was a good idea. If you had man. read the book, before, I did read the fucking book. It's by Michael go, Creighton. You wouldn't go. I read all fucking three you books. You wouldn't go. You wouldn't go. I would go. All right, I'm trying to live that life. Black Jurassic Park. Ah, uh, Thesaurus. Hate him. God damn it. He's always Pete, winning. He's always winning hell of money. Pete, stop showing us pictures of your cards and your chips You're always and your tables and your trips. Sharing your life everywhere. Telling us about it. How you win all the money. Does he? And, and, he does good. And yeah. move yeah. places. He moved, yeah. You yeah, know? he did that. And we hate it. Having we a girlfriend. I don't like that you have a girlfriend. Your lady. I think it's weird. I think it's a little suspect. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why you have a girlfriend. I don't so think much. that this segment is gonna ever stay ever. I hope. I hope it fucking does. Can I just say that um, all of them? Mosh Jelton. Oh, it's pretty good actually. Yeah, I think Mosh Jelton's pretty good. Carter Deems. Not really. Fucking man. terrible. 
<laughs> yeah. Not really a fan. Are you are you are you, are you not a fan of this segment? Or are you not a fan of Carter? Carter both. At <laughs> I'm this not point. a fan I mean, of this. You brought it up. I'm not a fan of this show at this point. I'm gonna take another shot. He's gonna smoke that. I'm gonna drink this. A great many of us have attitudes that often result in illness. You mean a a healthy guy like me could get sick from an attitude like, say, like a fella's not making the team? Yes, that's what I mean, Marv. There are attitudes about many things that could cause illnesses. Well, if you could see some of the patients that come into my office. A couple of weeks ago, I remember, well, let's call him John. John has headaches, very bad headaches. And there's no primary physical cause for them that I can find. He just worries a lot and has headaches. Or there's, well, call her Mary. Although Mary is seldom very ill, she has indigestion. No food allergies, no fevers. But Mary is afraid. I'm not sure yet of what. Or let's take the case of, call him Joe. He has what we call a, a tick. This is all going to be so fucked. Oh. Hey, are we, are we, we're going to call Dan a little later on and, uh, and remind him that this is what happens. He's like, yeah, don't worry. I got a, I got a whole itinerary. He didn't like, we're not doing like the five battles or anything. Like, I hope you guys didn't fucking plan on like a real show happening. Like, yeah, we don't go, like, we don't know. No. We talk about battles all the time. Talk about something else. Hey, uh, speaking of something else that's kind of battle related, you put a song (laughs) out. I did put a song out. How's that? How's that doing right now? Uh, it's doing pretty good. I think a lot of people heard it and they gave a lot of good feedback. And uh, and I'm gonna put out this young ass mixtape of a bunch of free shit that uh, some original, some unoriginal, some fucking, you know, because I steal all my shit off of TV. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which is like it's like a big influence for me. You know what I mean? So I just gotta take it. I just gotta take everybody else's ideas and make them my own. You know what I'm saying? No. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> Nah, uh, I'm actually, nah, I've been more focused on music than anything lately, and, uh, you know, I just, it was a good idea to have Lush just fucking put it out and get some feedback and see what people thought about what I was doing. I think it's going pretty good. Give you some good free shit to listen to by the summertime, you know what I'm saying? Yep. But the body gradually builds up a tolerance to the drugs. More and 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 more Uh, welcome in the safe. Roll another blunt just to burn it in your face. Got 30 in the K, got a $30 pay. Then I'm coming down the street, pop a murder was a case. That cab road us, now I'm focused. Bitch stay back, but her mouth is open. That north of San Jose, south of Oakland. And I can't turn down on the line of smoking. Y'all sound lame on the track. Threw your shit out on the way to the trap. Come to your rest and I wait to attack. Press a Mac to your face and I take it your pack. Pooping your bitches, she making it clap. Drive up full speed with the face of my lap. I'm taking her home and I'm breaking her back. And after I'm done, she taking a nap. Did I pay my taxes? Who fucking remembers? My motors just don't match my public agenda. Spent 25 racks in the month of December. Spent $25 on public defender. Uh, Fly till five in the morning to the fiend. Could you please quit calling my phone? And I finally came up, did it all on my own. And the lean in my cup, got me all the way gone. Wanna be a city, but my holiday on. Just sold a couple packs on a throwaway phone. I'm all wrapped up, don't know the way home. No tricking, our bitches don't order Patron. Me and my clique ain't got nothing to do. Making your bitch trip to nothing but shoes. We roam in the streets, there's something to prove. Say something to me and end up on the news. You can fuck with me, you can fuck with me. Living comfortably, double cup of lean. Y'all can come with me. Call me Charlie Sheen, I'm on everything. And your prize are free. Fuck it so good, neighbors can't believe. I just broke an old she, I deserve it, don't be. She don't run the whole team. Power when I fall with the activist up in my jaw So the steadily geek, hitting the 
upset with her fruit So wet that she leak in my leather be so so An indigo energy sent to me Heavenly sources Sex drive Revin like Porsche Reservoir Hennessy pour And betcha she moan And pleasure get deep as the ocean Oh shit Oh shit I feel like I'm floating Standing in lean and blue dolphins My lung green like dolphins Canaries on my ring all flawless Her pussy an enemy fortress Horses protecting me Trojans A foe and a deuce and she throw bitch Move it slow but I'm Yeah. West Coast Shrooking yeah. I can show you where it is My OGs, they can share a script Tag, go like Keyshawn Smoking on Keisha, gotta buy the leader Cookies, cream, cellulite All sex, fat, no cellulite Styrofoam, ice, syrup and Sprite That's why in my spaceship riding high Gamers and nudges and players and mad Cuss rolls and coke, white Cadillac Syrup, codeine, I make you lean Up in Magic City, throw cake in the nap We on You can fuck with me You can fuck with me, live it comfortably, double cup of lean, y'all can come with me, Comet Charlie Sheen, I'm on everything, and your rides are free, fuck it so good, neighbors can't believe. Prescription to half of an eight, I'm still living up licks I did back in the day. Day, call me base. Uh, fucked up, can't think straight. Trying to fog hoes like Jake's maze. Go ahead, bitch, tell them how that drink tastes. Spend in your block where your customers at. 308 and they cutting your badge. They cutting you off, I'm cutting you slack. They look at my cup like, what color is that? That's just the activist, Mr. with cannabis. After this blunt, I'ma be so inanimate. And you get work off a crackhead, then amateurs trapping it out of the people, abandoning it. And this bitch told me that I am the handsomest man on the planet. Goddamn, I'ma handle it. And I've been known to pull tens on the average. And I'm my bitch, we just friends with advantages. Nothing else matters whenever I'm throw. My name in your mouth and my dick in your throat I had to come back to rep for my clothes So rep for the places you never would go Me and my people get scripts for the bow Bend the machine, I'm just selling them coke I never go nowhere with nothing to smoke And I even had bitches back when I was broke You can fuck with me You can fuck with me Live it comfortably Double cup of lean Y'all can come with me Call me Charlie Sheen I'm on everything And your prize are free Fuck it so good Niggas can't believe I just broke it on she I deserve it don't please she don't want it on team How, when did you put that out? Uh, like, what's fucking today? Like, a couple days ago now. Last Thursday. It's been out for like half a week. All right. You can go check out the uh, the sneak peek on Lush's SoundCloud. Uh, SoundCloud Lush 1. You know what I'm saying? But right. you can't download it. You probably download it around like the Aver Battle or some shit like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We gonna talk about that? You wanna talk about this shit? We're I mean, gonna have a real show from now on. We're just gonna edit the fuck out of this thing and fucking make it loopy as fuck anyway. So you're not gonna know when we fuck up and when we don't because it's all one big fuck up. You everything's fucking idiot. fucked up. Everything fucking sucks. I don't even know why we're here. It's just we had we fucking got into the studio. Fuck. There's nobody else even here. It's just us in a room. You should have seen what happened before we turned the camera on. You shut it. You won't tell no one. I don't feel comfortable right now. Is this uncomfortable? You're out of obligation. Is this weird? It's it's. Is this weird right now? I mean, this is weird. This is it weird situation? like right now? Is yeah. it weird? Is it weird? Is it is it weird for you? I, I'm. Just, I mean, I'm trying to overcome I don't know the if weirdness. This is weird. I'm just but saying. Is, is it weird? Like uncomfortable. Though? It's weird that you're asking. Is me it weird, weird or uncomfortable? I think you're making it uncomfortable. But I was making it weird before, so I'm making it weird and uncomfortable. Yeah, I think maybe that's what it is. 
I'm just saying. I'm just trying to do the best I can, man. Where's that list at? Uh, <laughs> this we list. Didn't, are, did, we didn't even talk about. Are we going to talk about the battle? What battle? Your battle. My battle. No, not your my battle. battle. Let's talk about the the event that my battles happen. Oh at. yeah, we're gonna try good. to snap into this and make hey, it a show. We are gonna show you some battle stuff. We're gonna right try now. to. All right, here I got the fucking get it. You know what I mean? I got a card. So yo, so what? So uh, apparently I'm gonna battle at some shit called Vendetta. I've been waiting to kill him for a long time, and I hope y'all know my slogan when it's go time. Shut up! I like how the, uh, this website I pulled up says that Averb's battling Shadi Hora. Oh, Shadi Hora. I, I see. I see. Okay. Uh, Shadi was supposed to battle Averb. I'm sure everybody already knows this shit. I'm just trying to do what Dirtbag does and just narrate the shit to you like you're fucking 10 years old. Uh, spoon feed, bro. Spoon feed. You know what? It's going to give you the uh, But yeah, Shadi Hora fucking backed out. So I'm fucking back in. Uh, I'm going to fucking remind Averb why there's really nothing special about him. Or anybody else, because you're all just fucking rappers. All right, so all, I'm going to ask you a couple of these right here. Okay? Shitty, terrible rappers. KG the Poet versus Danny Myers. KG, that's crazy. I think this is going to be probably one of the battles of the night. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't think people. a lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people hate on KG. I think KG is sick as fuck, personally. But uh, I also like Danny Myers. I think Danny Myers deserves a lightweight Facebook intervention. Yeah, why? What happened? Just, he just goes off on random ass tangents about how great he is, hmm. and I haven't even seen like two more than two of his battles that he's like making these like Oscar acceptance speeches and shit. But he has good posts too. Like he has like really off the wall like, "Would you do this or this?" questions and shit. I don't know. Danny Myers is fucking weird. I'm still waiting to see ultimately what he develops into. I like his shit though. I like his energy and I like his his way of thinking and approaching shit so we were talking about uh our buddy pete earlier big k versus thesaurus big k versus thesaurus this is crazy man like uh i'm i'm real i'm real biased towards ilmac ilmac will always be one of my favorite battlers so it's hard for me like anybody like if ilmac had trouble like how the fuck is anybody else not gonna have trouble with big k you know what i'm saying uh big k is hella tight when he's on when he remembers all his shit he's fucking clean he's got sick shit but you never know what source will show up. And sometimes the source has the best performance ever. Sometimes it just doesn't resonate. He does good in California, though. So, I mean, depends. Like, source got to have a dope performance. Yeah. Because uh, Big K is real natural. You know what I'm saying? So, you like, you know, Big K is even, like, <laughs> kind of odd. It's still hitting. And it's, like, every two fucking bars. And Soros likes to build up to shit. Yeah. So all those sure. build-ups got to hit. You know what I mean? All right. Well, what about Big T versus Bender? Uh, Bender. Bender. You think he's just on right now? I think Bender is better than Big T. Fair enough. There you go. What about the, uh, let's see, who else is battling here? Um Chilla Jones and Daylight, is that still happening? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, fucking Daylight is fucking crazy. Daylight is absolutely out of his fucking mind. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck, right? Chilla Jones, it's an odd matchup to me because it's like, does Chilla Jones have like the kind of, the kind of energy or persona to deal with whatever the fuck Daylight's going to do? Especially Daylight being like real comfortable in his hometown and shit like <laughs> he's gonna do whatever the fuck he wants to you and i hope you understand that and uh you seem like a real chill dude you seem like a real nice dude but it's gonna be a different fucking world for you in there i, I hope think. he keeps his clothes on yeah i mean that's the least we could hope for with daylight that's all I is ask. that he doesn't fucking expose himself at any point what about uh real deal and ill will that's gonna be a sick ass battle too yeah. um it just seems like real deal always comes to bat in these kind of situations 
I like real deal shit. Every he time, every time he's in a a situation like this, a similar crowd, similar, you know, spot in the lineup, he just comes with it. So I don't know. I'm not. I'm honestly not too familiar with it. Will I haven't watched a lot of his shit. So Shotgun really Shug Tycoon it. Tax. Uh, that's gonna be a weird one. Everyone wanted a uh, Sharon and Shotgun Shug to happen. Yeah, I thought that would have been tight too. Honestly, yeah, Sharon ain't on the card. But uh, Tax is tight. He has good moments. Uh, Shotgun Shug is uh, <laughs> he's he's always entertaining. At least, at the very least, Shotgun Shug is entertaining. Even no matter how much crazy <laughs> weird shit he says, like it's it's watchable for yeah. sure. So, so but I think different. if it comes to a writing standpoint, I think Tax got it. Because, uh, you know, you got to make a point at some point. And I don't think shotgun shit gets to the point. These are some professional ass reviews, dog. I feel like, yeah, I feel like on, I on the wire, you got this. You know what I'm saying? What happened to you? I don't know. I just kind of pulled back on that fucking on that pilot fucking steering thing. What is that shit? What? What is the little thing that steers airplanes? Is it called something else? What is it? What the like what you actually see. Yeah, the with. fucking thing with the handles on it. I don't fly planes. I don't so, know. So you don't know this shit? Y- you don't know nah, either? You never, I saw a flight when you turned the fucking plane upside down and landed I, that motherfucker. What do you know about that shit? I didn't actually see that. You don't know fucking that. nothing about it, You're obviously. Right. You don't I even know what the fucking the thing is called. I could Google this shit and find out. Denzel Washington's teeth are too white. It's fucking racist. <laughs> no, dog. That's clearly no. racist. No, because if he was white, they'd still be too white. Don't be fucking Denzel Washington denier, bro. He, his smile scares me. Maybe it's the way he scares, he, scares your he inner scowls. fucking feelings he, he and makes scowls. you feel differently about yourself. Maybe, maybe fear is what it makes me feel. Fear of homosexuality. Wow, no, no, that's that's kind of that's kind of not at all. What I was <laughs> is it weird? No, it's is weird. it weird? Yeah, it's weird. A little bit, a little bit weird. You must have felt weird watching that movie by yourself for Dude, a second. It time. did feel weird, bro. Didn't feel weird? No, I did because I chubbed the whole time. Oh, yeah. Especially the beginning, they had the bitch from the league on it. I really haven't you know seen the about? movie. Dude, flight is tight. Is it? You got to watch that shit. Sorry. Motherfucker and, and I don't actually have a problem with his teeth. Upside down drunk. Yeah, you do. You just said they were made of wood. <laughs> They're not. They're made Denzel of- Washington does not have wooden teeth. You're right. That was George Washington, and I don't think he did either. They're related, obviously. I'm not even going to go into that one with you because then things would get really uncomfortable. Wait, why? <laughs> what did I miss? Nothing. What are we talking about? I don't remember. Dog. All right. Check your list. So what your the list fuck will moment? Tell us. Uh, we've got one battle of the week. Oh, there's a what the one fuck moment. One battle. One, one battle. Because <laughs> there weren't four others. Um, so we watched 40 bars versus daylight or i watched did you watch 40 bars versus uh, daylight no, i didn't see it i watched 40 bars versus, i actually watched daylight uh i actually didn't catch uh 40 bars 40 bars at all i uh, i skipped past them but i did watch daylight's rounds and uh it was fucking <laughs> pretty good is the way he addressed uh the whole queen of the ring crowd and uh at even some point read direct words out of the bible and then uh at the end of the battle uh, challenged the women to raise their hand if they wanted to see his dick. He infor- he first informed all the men to leave. He said he advised that they leave the room, and then it cuts to most of the men in the room leaving the room, and then uh, he makes his offer to the women, and then he climbs up on the turnbuckle like he's fucking Shawn Michaels and pulls out his dick for the crowd. What the fuck? Some of the dudes didn't leave. They were like, I don't believe he's gonna do it. One of the I don't girls he's gonna do it. One of the girls screamed, That's my dick repeatedly. Wow. It was a mixed reaction throughout the room. Eh. This is our what the fuck moment of the week. Yet again, going to daylight. I think we're gonna have to make him like a fucking little he's like the placard what, or something. Yeah, shit. he's like already like what the fuck Hall of Fame. Like nobody's gonna like <laughs> Was like the 96 bulls of like fucking what the fuck to moments the universe too quickly yeah like nobody like now nobody else does enough shit to even get the fucking spot on the show because it's all just daylight fucking beating people to death with this dick all over the fucking place yeah you like literally have to stab another battler in the face during a yeah battle. you're gonna have to like murder your opponent to yeah. fucking outdo daylight yep why does he want to be naked so much i don't know he doesn't like clothing 
And like no, and he does a fucking million interviews, and nobody asks him like, "Why do you feel the need to be naked publicly?" Because it's shock value for sure. I mean, think about it. But I mean, I feel like we should talk to him about it. Like maybe he's got some shit going maybe on. Maybe he's like, home. "Listen, man." He's like, "Yo, man, I just I grew know. up very oppressed." Yeah, you so you gotta get naked. I get it, man. I I don't, but I want to know why. I hope you're okay. Call us soon. <laughs> Caustic wants to talk about it. Why you always want to get naked? Why are you always trying to get naked, Daylight? I don't know why he does it. He why does can't it, you just? Why can't you just wear clothes like all the other? I mean, others? even you know. But at the same time, I mean, when he is wearing clothes, it's not like he comes in dressed normally. Mostly, it's like, <laughs> what's up? I'm gonna wear the most outlandish outfit possible. I'm surprised he hasn't come in dressed like fucking Woody from Toy Story or you know, like any other random costume he could get his hands on. <laughs> What the, he would do like Toy Story bars <laughs> for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck daylight. Why, man? Anyways, back yeah. to this vendetta card. Oh uh, uh, yeah, let's talk about that some more. What do we got left? Anything to um, talk about? I mean, that's I just all the jumped into that the... here on the list. Oh, there is one more. Yeah, and it's your boy Caustic versus this full A verb. Yeah, yeah, that and, one's uh, still And I'm actually huh? gonna give uh give our young producer here a chance to uh edit in A verb's blog and let you watch what's gonna happen uh because it's fucking awkward. So here you go. You motherfuckers crazy if y'all thought I wasn't gonna show up regardless. California, what's up? It's your boy A verb, Captain Marketable. Y'all knew I was coming. I just gotta kill this dumbass new nigga. I'm going to kill. Okay, let me tell you how this happened, right? Okay, well, I was supposed to battle Shadi Harbor like y'all know, because y'all follow the culture. And, um, something happened with Shadi where he couldn't make it, you know. So they they threw me um caustic. The crazy part about this shit is I didn't even know he existed on planet Earth. Caustic. Not lying to y'all. See, this y'all gotta understand. You know, so when they when they gave me him, I looked him up and you know I went to go check out his product. And I was like, uh very, 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 very fucking bad. I'm going to kill Caustic with his stupid fucking name. And his big ass fucking nose. April 19th. That's exactly what I did. I'm going to kill this weirdo. Yeah. I'm going to kill this fucking boy, man. April 19th, make sure y'all in the building, address at the bottom, it's your boy A-Verb, man, y'all knew I was coming to fuck with y'all, but y'all, they threw me a weirdo, they threw me a fucking weirdo, and watch what I do with that weird ass, two weeks preparation, watch the king work, motherfuckers, watch the king work, I see y'all out there, V2, I'm in the building, caustic, strap up, my man. Yeah, so mm. that happened, and, uh, I don't know, like, it... <laughs> What are you? What are you? What were you trying to get across there? What were you trying to say, Averb? I don't know. Uh, that's why I don't make vlogs, cause uh, you know sometimes you think you're funny and not everyone else thinks you're funny, and you're clearly one of those people who thinks they're very funny, and probably isn't very funny, cause you spent most of your life trying to convince people that you're a murderer. So, but I did get a chance to hear your new CD. It's called uh, 
<clears throat> middle of nowhere because that's where you fucking live and it's uh on fucking no record label because it doesn't the fucking mes- the message it doesn't is clear. fucking exist the message is clear you can see straight through the fucking cd because there's no fucking content on it because there's no fucking songs on it because the only fucking thing you'll ever be known for is battling so enjoy this is uh it's already platinum in the plastic world triple plastic platinum every pack of 100 cds comes with one <laughs> every <laughs> every time somebody kills himself they give out an averb cd because we're trying to get our numbers up <laughs> oh fuck yeah, bro, yeah, bro. fuck you averb you're gonna die bitch the day baby yeah. ah! um so I asked a bunch of people to ask us fucking questions, and uh, I wasn't sure that the fucking show could get any worse, but it's going to quickly. Beware. So beware of this shit, because it's awful. Uh, Let's start from the top. I'm probably going to read most of these questions (laughs) right now. (laughs) There's a lot of questions on here. Oh, no. Um, Did Verb cancel on me? No, Verb did not cancel on me. Uh, do I lift? Do you lift? Do you lift? I don't lift. I, I lift uh, tacos into my mouth rather often. Are they talking about the um, the car service? Yeah, like Uber and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like Uber lift. I don't do that either. Or lifting. I lift my Xbox controller on a regular basis. I also lift dead bodies out of my trunk. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Uh, who are your top musical inspirations for your own style? And have you smoked my favorite strand, Girl Scout cookies? That's what this is. We can both answer this shit. Uh, I should probably uh, state who's asking. This is Blake Harley asking this. Uh, well, yeah, I think everybody out here has smoked cookies at some point. That's smoked. actually what we've been smoking right here. That's what we've been smoking this whole time, which is probably why this show is so fucking terrible. Um yeah, we've all smoked platinum cookies, Girl Scout cookies, fucking snickerdoodles, whatever the fuck you got. Uh, we've been through it all. Uh, musical inspirations. Who are your top musical inspirations, Skyler? Uh, right now? We're fucking forever, bro. Forever? Lifetime. Oh man, dude, I don't, I, I can't, couldn't even tell you like any one specific that list could go on forever. Yeah, that's, I like it's, it's shitty when people ask questions like that because it's like that's something you ask when you've been on like drugs for a long time together and uh, you're just in the same space and you have a lot of time to kill or you're in like a cell with somebody or something like that. Yeah, and you, you know can sit I mean? there and talk about all the people you've listened to over the years. Yeah, and probably tell the story of quite a few times. Yeah, uh, but uh, you know, there just isn't enough time to really go into who inspired us throughout the years because it's all it changes every fucking day i feel like i'm inspired by new shit all the time yeah so uh but you know i mean what do you want me to say fucking Ooh. the gap band and shit like because i listen to that Jimi shit Hendrix, so i guess i so i guess i am inspired by the gap band if that's what you're asking uh hindu rock asked when did you get bodied that's a funny question coming from you hindu rock i'm just gonna keep going <laughs> Uh, Garrett Williams, what is the dumbest and or weirdest thing a fan has ever said to you? Do you have any of those moments, Skylar? Uh, this guy said, hey, you're Skylar G. And then he goes, I fucking hate you on the show. <laughs> and that was like the first two minutes of meeting the dude. That was pretty random. Um, <laughs> at least he's honest. And then like, and then, yeah, I mean, whatever. And then at the same time, then there's, you know, just all the drunk random people that you can't understand after you get off stage or you do something and like, blah, blah, blah. yeah. I, I fucking hate when people like like hit me up on the internet and like tell me what to do with like my <laughs> my career and shit. Like it's like ah you should battle this guy. You should make a diss track. You should you should rap over Nas. I'm like, oh all right. <laughs> co host the home shopping network. Yeah, yo man, my friend works at fucking Osh, bro, I can get you in there. I'm like, fuck, all right. I guess I'll fill out an application. Do I do that online? You know what I'm saying? Like, can you, do, can you like refer me or uh, tell us something embarrassing? Dirtbag Dan has done off camera. <laughs> oh, Scott, this is your fucking court right here. Oh, <laughs> what's a good? <laughs> oh, come on, Skyler. All right, well, this is this is oh, quick. This is quick shit. and easy. Dan plays a lot of Call of Duty. If anybody that is like a fan and is online, I'm sure like people that he interacts with on there are playing games. Uh, he fucking sitting up and sitting down so many goddamn times on that couch broke the fucking couch. 
<laughs> from his goddamn video game sitting. Because he stands up when he gets excited. Yeah, he stands up and sits back down and stands up and he snapped the middle of the goddamn couch, <laughs> motherfucker. What about the story we told earlier? Which one? When, uh, Go ahead. <laughs> when I offered to get food for oh. everyone and I walked to the Wiener Schnitzel right here and like, I fucking literally walked and I came back with food for everyone. I gave dirt back it is and he's like he's like mine has fucking cheese on it. What the fuck? <laughs> like fucking threw his shit on the ground. He's like, I specifically <laughs> asked for no cheese. <laughs> <laughs> was like genuinely had, pissed he like had at like me. Had like a panic attack was about genuinely it. Genuinely angry at me. It was fucking wiener schnitzel. <laughs> I was like, I just got Stuff's you cheese. Fucking diarrhea cheese already dogs, before bro. you eat it. You're so mad at me about oh. these hot dogs. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you get me cheese? Uh. I can't eat cheese. Uh, Dan Ackerman asks, Daylight needs to be spoken on, obviously. When's the EP dropping, and when did Skylar produce it? Does this guy have, like, one question? Or That's a, that was, like, a weird question molded into We already talked about Daylight. Questions. We just talked about Daylight. Uh, we talked about your EP. We, we did. Uh, Skylar will produce something I will on have it, at some least. stuff on the album, yes. That's, I didn't produce the song that he just put out. And he did obviously, not, but, if you listened to it, you would know that. But I've got plenty of fucking shit coming out. Yeah. Uh, Dan Devo said, if Caustic was to battle Daniel Stefani, who would win? And that is a difficult question. Because no. Caustic battles Daniel Stefani every fucking day, and uh, it's pretty even. You think so? I think all the bad shit in my life I do, you I attribute, attribute it to Caustic. I attribute it to Caustic, and all like the happy laughing times get to be Daniel's. All those and, hours uh, you spend crying in your bedroom? That's just Those are just alone time. That's just alone this time. That just doesn't count. That's the time I spend by myself and I don't talk about. Moving on. <laughs> Go on. Uh, Emerge MC asked, "Is Gwen Stefani your mom?" Uh, that was she would have been like eleven. Just say yes when she yes, and I'm just you know. <laughs> there's only you one, were right. Oh, you were there's right. There's only one right. Stefani household in the universe. in the whole world. Yeah. So you guys. and one is that girl who made up that name. Uh. Uh, a Hindu rock came back with another heat rock. Uh, asked, "What's it like having a stupid face?" Wow, I don't know. What's it like having no dick? Jesus. Uh, Logan Roy Foster asked, "What's your favorite color?" Uh, black. It's but not it's, a color. It's not a. It's not a color. It's a shade. It's the absence of color. It's the absence of absence your bitch because she left you. <laughs> <laughs> It's that part of your heart that's gone. Um, I don't know. I just wear a lot of black. I probably, if I probably, I wear a lot of red. I guess. Yeah. I wear some red and gray, but gray's not a color either. Mm-mm. So not a lot of colors in my life. Your drab. I'm, I'm, I keep it low key. There you, you go. Know what I'm saying. Uh, who would win in a fight, Dirt or Caustic? Clearly me. <laughs> uh, what's more dangerous, Eminem's Vin 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 or Big T's Pew Pew Pew? Rocket launcher shit, boot block and shit. Uh, you just did them all. I did. Well, it's. I read the question oh, verbatim. Damn. You can answer the fucking questions too. Who would too. win? Uh, what's what more dangerous? Oh, dude, the rocket launchers. The rocket launchers sure. are fucking. Pretty, I don't know. Vin, Vin, Vin. I'm pretty sure it's like Eminem imitating a chainsaw. Yeah, that's not. That's not. Frightening. Or like having some a seizure. Sort of, some sort of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Not. Not scary. Not. Uh, what is my reaction to Verb's terrible blog? I think I told you it's terrible. You sing fucking awfully. Go to karaoke more often. Get it together. You look like shit. Uh, Ricochet asks, what do you guys think is the worst influence on the tour out of all of them? Also, shout out to Caustic for that sick track he leaked the other day. I'm just reading the shit, bro. What does uh, it say, the first part? Uh, what do you guys think is the worst influence on the tour out of all of them? The worst influence? The water slides. Because that's all <laughs> I seem to see right now is these stupid water slides. Water slides, and you know, and you know, Paxton's being sneaky somewhere. Oh yeah, that's just all. That's all you can. That's do. what he's doing. He's just being sneaky somewhere. Just sneaking. Just sneaking around Wyoming. Just, just like getting in, into in, in shadows and like between walls and just shit yeah, like just that. getting in hijinks hmm. all over the place. I couldn't see it. Uh, what do you feel is your best performance and why, Mike Fairney? Uh, like questions to you, obviously. Um. I would say that one year that I was like headlining 
Broadway? Mm-mm. Yeah, I have nothing. You were in a Broadway show. No, I was never. You I, were. I mean, you just said you were in a Broadway show. I was show. in a Broadway show. It was, uh, it was the life and trades of the Stefanis. <laughs> um, I played a young... Really? Because it sounded like you traded your homosexuality. No, I played a young... Well, Dan, something I played else. a young Daniel Stefani. Did you? Before, you know, turning before to what? the arts... <laughs> and <laughs> an interpretive dance. Turn it, well, I mean, so I'm telling your life a, story. It is bro. a beautiful art. Yeah, I'm tell telling you your life story. It's, it's pretty just, amazing. You just you should feel see this guy dance so much better after. That's what you should just do. Dude. So much. You should battle with dance movement. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe I will. Well, maybe you should. Maybe I will. Maybe you ought to. Uh, my best performance is me going to the next question. Oh, you're so lame. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seriously, what know. do you I think? Mean, it's, uh, when you got punched in the face? Yeah, that was a pretty fucking pretty good, good one, bro. Pretty fucking good one. I feel like How that, I just took it like a champion and then I fucking... I feel like that shows... shows whip your... my dick out on the turnbuckle and shit. You did not. I totally fucking did. They're Why? everywhere in England, bro. You've never been there. Shut up. What, turnbuckles? Yes. What is that? It's a turn. It's the, the where the turn. There's a turn in the ring, and, and it buckles pull, there. He just pulled your dick out there. Yes, that did nothing for you. I peed. You lost that. I definitely peed. You lost that one. No, I didn't. Yeah, I heard. You I'm went gonna down. pee in the fucking corner later. Is that what you do? What do you mean? Is that what I do? Is that where you? Going As, with I'm this? gonna do it for All the right, first fine. fucking time. Why are we arguing? I don't know. I'm go sorry. On. We just do go this on with your so much. stupid questions. Uh, I don't know. I feel like my best performance is probably. It's got to be disaster. You can't fucking. I just feel like it wasn't my best because I stuttered through it and all that shit. But I fucking woke up <laughs> to battle disaster with fucking nothing and did that shit. You should try that shit. It's fucking nerve wracking. Um, who would win in a battle? Arcane's Echo Hoodie or Awkward's Kangol Hat? Uh, Awkward's Kangol Hat is a oh, part yeah. of history. Uh, T Rex made that motherfucker run. Uh, Arcane's uh, hoodie is just draped over uh, the shoulders of me- mediocrity. <laughs> it's pretty much all the time. You're just a part of irrelevance. I feel like Awkward's so, Kangol would just cut the hoodie in half. Yeah, like it did with its mind. Yeah. Like that's how much greater that hat is than fucking the, the Echo jacket that Arcane bought in 1992. When he met Mark Echo personally, and Mark Echo fucking <laughs> Is that Co- Coast Road is uh, fucking let me jack shit jacket. battle. Assuming you battled jack shit at some point, um, DNA Tooth versus Awkward Kangol. Uh, that's a good fucking fight right there. Damn. I feel like DNA Tooth would have some uh, some choice. Nah, because even DNA takes that shit out of his mouth when he battles. So he's obviously. ashamed of it because it's yeah. a bitch. So it's obviously a DNA's bitch, tooth dude. is a fucking bitch. It's fucking a fake. What a little it's ass a fucking fake ass little bitch. That what a little ass, ass tooth bitch you are tooth. all the time. Fucking enamel ass hoe. <laughs> <laughs> who are your top five MCs that aren't battle rappers? Not your favorites, but who do you consider to be the top five rhyme sayers, dead or alive? Um, why? Why are these kinds of like? Come on. Because it's all hip hop, bro. All right, answer you answer You're gonna, this question. I want you to answer. I don't want to answer it. My f- okay, fucking Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> now I have to think of my top five fucking rappers. Yeah, this is on all the time. spot, and this will be immortalized for the internet. Dead or alive? This forever. is my dead this is or my alive. Fucking rhyme sayers, lyricists, is what he's talking about. Come on, top man. five. What am I supposed forever. to say? Like in think about it because it's gonna it's gonna be immortalized. Can forever. I answer it later though? No. We I have to answer it now. You need to answer this and question. I can't say Miles Shelton because he's a battler. That's, that's so, very true. I don't know. Should I answer this seriously? Answer the fucking top five questions seriously. All time uh, people I've respected lyrics wise the most are E. Don. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, Lord Finesse. Because Lord Finesse is the shit. Okay. Um. Fuck, man, this is all hard to do on the spot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, rhyme stairs, though, like, you gotta have Big L, at least. Big L, yeah, I can see that. Big L, Finesse, Edan. I mean, top there's, five there's what, so man? Many, yeah, like, like, there's so many like, people. I feel like those I don't kinds wanna, of questions are I don't want to make a list like that because it's just going to seem like like dead or alive. Like, what the soul? I have to include dead people now and shit. Or just not include dead people. I just hate way. fucking answering that question because I like so much shit equally. Like, more than just five. Like, I like I like Too Short as much as I like Big L. 
if not more. But I can't say fucking too short is the greatest lyrical mind of all time. His rhyme saying skills. Uh, you know, but he does rap better than everybody else and has good insight on women. And has been doing the same thing for like 30 something years. So it's like, it's all fucking, it. it's all perspective, man. Like, I don't know. Top five what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's like so many fucking rappers in the world and I've listened to more than five. I don't want to fucking answer the question. I like Lord Finesse and I like Edan and I like Too Short. All right? Fuck. Let's move on. Uh, KOTD wise, do you have aspirations to obtain the chain? No, I, but I do have aspirations to battle fucking Pat's Day, and I don't fucking need a chain to fucking do it. Uh, Dave Ducharm, uh, hatred for Don't Flop has been accumulating, namely Ur. Several big name battlers are calling him out. As it's clear, many people have a problem with some of the crap he's done. Do you anticipate another UK league usurping Don't Flop? As this is a really long question, as the main league in years to come. Do I think there will be another UK league ever? Uh, I know Mickey just started his own shit called King of the Ronalds, which is fucking weird. But interesting. King somehow. of the Ronalds? King of the Ronalds. Huh. Uh, yeah, because Mickey Worthless doesn't give a fuck, so shout out to that dude. Uh, probably top five dead or alive. Hmm. Um, just like Skyler G. Yeah. Uh, fucking everybody's top five dead or alive, bro. Why not all of them? <laughs> That's the name of Cossack's new single. Top five dead or alive. That's me. I'm all five spots. Dylon, baby. Fuck you. I hate that question. <laughs> um, what were we talking about? Oh, is the, 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 the UK shit? Uh, I mean, probably. It's going to happen. You know, even I mean, there was jump off. Nobody is, thought man. there would be another it's jump off. There always is. There's don't something. flop. I mean, if if don't flop, he's going the way it's going. Could be good if uh, if enough people turn on her, and then it won't be. But, you know, it's, it's hard not to fucking have disagreements in this kind of work. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody who runs a league, like, I'm super cool with organic. I've gotten disagreements with organic. Super cool with lush. I get in disagreements with lush. Getting disagreements with everybody, especially when money's involved and time and on an event that stresses everyone out. Somebody's not going to fucking turn out well at some of these shits. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, there's always going to be drama and there will always be battlers having fallouts with whoever. And it doesn't really fucking matter because this shit's going to keep happening regardless, obviously. So, DC Schmitty asks, has Skylar G ever considered battling? If so, who would he battle and who does he think would be a good match? This is a good question. Uh, No, I've never considered battling. I think you should do it. I'll write everything uh, for so much money. Damn, like that. So much money, bro. Like that. Dog, I need to pay this pay Tell to you bill. What, I'll ghost write it, give it to you, and then you can give it to me, and then the money will all be in the I same mean, you ghost write my shit anyway, know, so it's really saying. not that big of a change. I just have to know. I wouldn't battle. Uh, I don't rap. I haven't rapped for years, and um, there's enough people rapping and battling for me yeah. not to have to do it. I have mm. to sit here and talk about it, which is already enough for me to deal with. <laughs> So he gets anxiety over this shit as we take pills. I need to drink more of this Hennessy, obviously. Madness thought I should battle, too. I think you should battle. I think you'd be amazing at it. Nah. You say mean shit about people all the time. Yeah, well. Yeah. Especially when they're not around. Yeah, especially uh, you all the time. Why, why is Reverse Live still battling? His Reverse Live is awesome. He's good. Yeah, I don't know what the fucking problem is. Uh... Do you consider the disaster battle in 2011 stand-up performance? Ninja is my best earlier because it was fucking crazy. It was just fucking hard to do. Uh, would Skylar be able to body bag Big T? I think he body bags Big T on the reg. <laughs> on the fucking reg. <laughs> Put your hand in a toaster. Bing! How long ago did Dirt retire and why did he not address the public? And is Makina Muerte really dumb for... That's probably more of a Cadillac wrong question. Uh, I don't know about McKenna's business at all. I didn't know Dirt retired. Uh, and yeah, he I don't doesn't think he have retired. to address the public because he didn't want to, I guess. I think he's just on tour. I like how you ask us questions for other people yeah. that aren't here. I did see uh, Toothtaker post something about R.I.P. McKenna Muerte. Damn, that's crazy. I don't know what the deal is. You should probably talk to Lush. Yeah, all those tattoos. Yeah. Gone to waste. No. Um, what are some of the things that makes cause tick? Uh, that's a really... Uh, <laughs> ha 
making puns. That's a really a zinger. Yeah. All right. You can so answer thanks, that. thanks, Lex D, for that. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> <good>. Knucklehead. <laughs> Uh, I don't. What do you like? Like uh, he's gonna call me at like one in the morning. What do you like, think of my question? What, <laughs> what makes you tick? <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Is this you, Lex D? <laughs> uh, can I go ahead and ask how big of an influence am I on your music, and can you shout me out in your battle versus Verb? Uh, you have actually not influenced my music at all. As I have made none. Who is uh, who is this? This is Knucklehead. I don't know who that is. That you Kevin, know uh, I do know he's uh, one of the glorious young men on my Snapchat who uh, fill me in on their life periodically. Huh. They're like pen pals. All right. Fair. Is it weird? Kinda. <laughs> is it weird? Is it weird? Yeah. I don't know. I don't. My, this might be a little weird. I mean, I'm not. I'm smiling quite greatly. So you're. You don't think it's weird? I'm not uncomfortable. It's not an uncomfortable slightest. smile. Not at all. So, all right. That it's not weird. Now you're making it weird. <laughs> yeah, it's really? The staring. It's the eyes. All right. Uh, can I go ahead? Sends me nudes. That's what's up. All right. <laughs> uh, would you battle sure. shoddy horror at Bola? Uh, or in the near future, that would be pretty ill. The angles you could take. Uh. Yeah, I don't see why not. Shoddy Horror is tight. He fucking gets all the views. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, just give me like a week notice and I'll be there apparently. Um, Mad Liber Alchemist. For what? For in general. Mad Liber Alchemist, bro. Alchemist. I say Alchemist. Favorite Metal Gear Solid game character and why? Um, I'm going to go with Ocelot from one. Because hmm. uh, he was just that dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I read the beginning of the status and thought you and Skylar were breaking up. Weird. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? Are you single? Those are actually two questions that ask the same thing. Hmm. Skylar, do you, do you have a girlfriend? No. I don't have a girlfriend either. Fuck. What, that was, was that a dude that asked us that question? What was a dude that asked that? Why would he even... Uh, why, why are you interested? He's from San weird. Jose. I know. That's not cool. He's from San Jose. He is. So the, uh, weird, the worst part about that sentence was he is from San Jose. He's from San Jose, and he wants to know what hmm. you got going on, Skyler. I feel like that was directed at you. I feel like it was definitely had like a real skyler vibe. For all I know, that could say, hey, Caustic, comma. No, you could tell it's for you because it says R-U, like the letters only. It was like the letter R and the letter U. I like don't R see how that would mean that. That's obviously a, 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 a Skyler You see, thing. you almost slipped there even. You were ready for it. That's obviously How did I slip anything? Ka- I just say my right. own name periodically. It's a That's smile fine, former Tourette. It's one of those dudes you snapped I really with. enjoy myself. Um, your Facebook name is terrible. I assume he's saying that to the guy who asked us if we're single. Uh, the romantically pleasingly plump asks that. Oh, it makes it's a little more insight on your life. I know who that is. That's, uh, that, I, yeah, I know who it is too. Yeah, what a little weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> weirdo. It's going on right now. Would you rather be a water buffalo or a Galapagos penguin? That's a really interesting question. I'm going to go with a uh, penguin. Galapagos penguin. Yeah. Definitely. Way more bitches. Buffaloes are scary. Is you seen the hot, you seen those water buffaloes? They're out in the fucking sun. You got to fucking... Kicking around dust. You got to call your insurance agent and get back in the office and shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? All that bullshit. Uh, have you ever considered doing your own podcast? Uh, doing that Duh. right now. Go fucking Pay kill attention. yourself. Kill yourself. You, uh, well, how did you even Fuck, get this far? Man. Where, why are you even asking us questions? Um, romantically, you came back with a, a follow-up question. Really? What's your very favorite Pokemon? And don't say Pikachu or he'll punch you in the dick. I don't even like Pokemon. I'm, uh, I'm a grown-ass man. All right? I'm going to say Ghastly. Ghastly is my favorite Pokemon. Oh. Dirtbag's calling because apparently he can't fucking wait. Oh, shit. Wait. We were going to call Dirt. Let's talk to him. I guess. Hold on. What's up, motherfucker? Why don't you fucking tell us what the fuck is going on? Hey, what's up? Are you guys ruining my show? I'm trying fucking to talk hey, about dude. fucking Pokemon, and then you just call. We're not even fucking ready. You just Where's interrupt. Pokemon? Dude. You're definitely ruining my show. Gastly is my favorite Pokemon character. What's yours? Nestle is your favorite Pokemon character. Nestle is not my fucking favorite because... Pokemon character. Nestle's house was burned down by Charizard. <laughs> 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 uh, 
That's the end of the show. We we're not gonna get any better than that moment. We're so done. we have to end we the show. To end there. And, uh, how is uh, the Skyler and, and Caustic show? Going it's going so really, really, really bad. You see how he said the Skyler and Caustic <laughs> show? Uh, tell me more. Oh, uh, we call we call Frank Stacks. We talked to him. Oh, that yeah, that's never a good idea. Caustic, yeah. Caustic couldn't hang up the phone. I think he felt guilty. I did. Oh, dude, so, you know, and that's the thing. This is this is the art of the of the podcast, knowing when to pull the plug on your friends. Yeah. So, anyways, we I gotta get so, going. I think they uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to get back to you later. Oh fuck you! Yeah. Thanks for calling us from Boise, though. Hey, how's hey, are you on a water slide right what now? What Walmart did you go to today? No, no, we're actually. I'm I'm driving. Uh, I'm not driving. Uh, Kung Fu is driving. He's such a fucking driving machine. He's been driving for the last like fucking four days straight. So we're driving from uh, Port Townsend. Crazy fucking Monday night show. Like uh, 150 kids out there rocking with us on a Monday night in a town of 7,000 people. Same and venue? Then, um, and then we're going to Portland. So you, did you guys play the Where same venue Port as Townsend? last time? Port Townsend's in Washington. Okay. Uh, Skyler, you did Port Townsend with us, didn't you? Yeah, is it the same venue as the last time? No, it wasn't. It was a different venue. And, but, but like, our show there is, like, a legend. They were like, you, you guys sold out Hilltop. You were there last time. I was like, yeah, 150 kids. <laughs> but but I, they, they, like, some of the kids were there with the going ball t-shirts on and shit. It was pretty uh, surreal. Did you, did you hang out with the window liquor? No, yes, the window liquor was there. He did show up, and I didn't get to pick him up. It's Dang. obviously a story we don't know about. <laughs> didn't lick the window of the van. Uh, last okay. time we were in Port Townsend, Skyler, and uh, somebody got suckered into trying to go buy weed, and they got their van uh, licked on by some... Yeah, he ran up on the van. van. Itchy locked all the doors. This guy's running up <laughs> on the van. Itchy started locking doors. He's going to murder us. <laughs> and the dude ran up and started licking the side window as we were driving we away. Like, there's so many bugs, and this guy was licking the fucking Yeah, it was shit, fucking bro. gross. This guy. But uh, if 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 the fans give a shit at all about me or, or care, they could check out our Instagrams and shit because we've been putting up videos like every day. And actually, Kung Fu just ended up a whole like part one of the tour video, and it has a bunch of dumb shit like us riding water slides in Kansas, and mm-hmm. uh, of course, oh, yeah. know, a bunch of show footage. And all We're that. aware of your water slide activities, and and yeah, you- what's up with that, dude? Did three water slides on this tour. Every time I'm in a hotel that there's a water slide at, I don't give a fuck. This shit's going down. Kids peeing in that bitch, let's go. <laughs> Your beard has just died from all the ammonia. Oh, uh, dude, so much chlorine and, and children pee in my beard. It's fucking. I'm like, I'm like a, a, what Michael Jackson wish he would have grown to be. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson would have never had a beard. So what? He would have. He would have had a scraggly white beard. Children would have peed in another rig. <laughs> okay. What? Uh, what? You know, Demo Ski, uh, who is with us on tour, is, is is a big fan of Michael Jackson, and uh, on, on the proper amount of mushroom, Michael Jackson cradled him to sleep, pretty much like with one hand. It just put on black and white on his on his cell phone, and just really just fall into the music. That actually I mean? sounds really disturbing. It is. A, it's pretty disturbing to watch, but it's, it's, it's also pretty awesome. Okay, so you watch so Michael Jackson cradle Gmo to sleep? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, and I sat on one bench because you're on also bench. on mushrooms. Yeah, you know, uh, okay. I don't want to incriminate myself, but it would be weird if I wasn't. Okay, fair enough. Fair right. enough. It's um, like a fair it's answer. All together, a magical tour. Uh, we Magic mushroom to tour. <laughs> One and only Chris Paxton is with us. Yeah, how's he doing? Uh, he's doing good. He's a, he's a soldier. He's a trooper out here. Jeremy, uh, as well, the bassist for Kung Fu, is, is another soldier. Mr. Gray just joined us on our journey. Pretty uh, pretty spectacular team. I recognize fucking 20 days or 20 shows with us over like 23 days. We had like three days off. Yeah. And fucking the motherfucker, no complaints, just killing it the whole way. Uh, definitely a, a fucking a, a, a trooper, and you can expect to hear some some work with Craig and I coming out in the future. Ty, hell yeah! So you somehow yeah, managed you somehow managed to weasel your way onto our show and talk about yeah, yourself. I know, further. Dude, well, I was worried. Like I kept texting Rory, I was like, dude, this, that's what's going on. Dude. 
What time is it even? I don't even know what time it is. Oh, man, you guys probably did like a three-hour podcast and like 10 minutes of it are watching. Oh, we haven't even started yet. Did you, did, did you fucking do all your bars for Averb yet? So yes. I, I, I gave him the entire second round. Yep, that's all he had. And I cha- Yeah, that's all I've written. Uh, and I challenged him. I said, if you can beat that, here's your chance, bro. He was singing to me. About you being weird. He's like, you're weird. And I was like, you're gay. I'm like, dude, listen, listen, waves deeper than Bernardo Beach. You're the one who's singing right now, and that's just strange. Oh, man. And then we would, like, cut away to, like, him posing for some reason. Yeah. What the fuck was that? He was like, I'm filming this in fucking, in, like, uh, chubby girl can't did fucking uh, self, fucking selfie. Camera, like oh my god! The whole Terrible. Thing. It was just weird. It was a strange little experiment he had going on. We're yeah. driving across a fucking awesome bridge in Washington. Holy shit, man! Some of this, some of the fucking majesty. In oh the my god! Land. I can see it, bro. Look, I wanna, I, I'm, I'm looking. The world, that the white people took all of the majesty and they kept it up here in the northwest. And if you want it back, you gotta come up here and take it. <laughs> I'm uh, pretty sure Joe right. Biden just challenged the world to a fight. Because no, he's because he's at a I'm fucking going, mountain or something. No, I'm saying, I'm saying. Are you gonna just, Are you gonna steal great, some great. land while you're out there, or what? What is I'm going on? I'm thinking about it, bro. Well, why don't I'm you fucking to, calm I'm down, Carmen flag. San Diego? Leave the fucking nature there. Is this, is this a fucking John Cena? Is this a fucking job rich? <laughs> no, it's a job rich. Does this thing go up? Can we drive when it goes up? We're gonna jump a drawbridge. Stay on the phone. Oh man. Oh Jesus. No, no that's crazy. There's no way that this is a, a drawbridge. Wait. Son of a bitch. So I guess we gotta go. Uh, well, hey man. Cause um, you're busy with your fucking bridge. With your fucking, with your fucking dry humor. Hey man. I bet you there wasn't even any new buttons on this episode. You guys fucking. We didn't even uh, fucking we, use the we, buttons. The buttons aren't even our personalities set up. are so magical. Oh man, this is gonna be a sucky episode. <laughs> it's so like special. And all the dick that was it's in such that a do we yeah, talked about dicks. We, we talked about dicks a lot. <laughs> I just might as well just call it the fucking scatter and caustic fucking disgust dick hour. <laughs> Disgusting? Yeah, I remember one time I was talking about dicks. You were talking a lot about them. I remember one time I was talking about them. I bet you. I bet you even said that you were the master of of the dick of the dicks fucking. No, but I know a guy <laughs> who used to say that. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, I think he's somewhere in back. Wyoming. Someone said fucking, something about King of the Dick jokes. Days, bro. I've been gone for a fucking month. Yeah, I know. No wonder you find bridges so fucking exciting right now. Dude, bridges are awesome. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll be. Just I'm playing next fucking Saturday, uh, 419, bro. Fucking, do you have a day? We're going to come down to I Santa don't, because I have to battle Averb. Is that fucking okay with you? You're going to be, so look, if you're not in LA watching Caustic destroy Averb, then you need to be in Santa Cruz watching me fucking perform this whole fucking magical tour with, with Kung Fu Vampire and Jumo Ski. We fucking uh, are going to be killing it as Catalyst. It's going to be a crazy fucking pack show because it's like our homecoming gym. And then after that, fucking next, what, uh, not next week, but the week after, fucking Dirtbag Dan Show episode 29. Because we're not going to count this little fucking fiasco, you fucking idiots have. No, you this can't is probably stop the, us, This bro. is probably the best episode that's fucking, ever happened. You can't fucking stop us. <laughs> we can get into this motherfucker when you're not here, obviously. Rory, Rory's already like... And on board. It's gonna be like the Charlie Cliffs battle, and I'm never gonna watch it. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, we too have no idea what the fuck we're doing in here. Yeah. Well, uh, there you I go. know. I know you guys did good. Uh, but hey, what happened? But, uh, you were supposed to send it. You're like, oh, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of info for you guys. <laughs> You're gonna like have battles you for were us just, to you watch. You're too busy you writing this whole itinerary. And you're too busy riding yeah, water slides. Man. I want to fucking smelling Gmo Ski's hat. And then Rory was like, nah, man, 
let him float. He was like, I want to see what happens. Just let him rock. Oh, you see, look, he fucking just threw Rory under the bus. It's really dude. awkward, man. It's not going yeah, well at all. Damn. Oh, Rory, bro. Rory was like, call him right now. He's like, throw him up. They're not expecting be su- be, Don't be surprised. He's got a black eye next time you see him. <laughs> well, shit. Uh, Should slow it down. I'm don't looking. be surprised if Rory's a black guy next time you see him. All right, cool. Like, Rory's going to be a black guy like the Punisher was in a period of time with Cage. And the yeah. Kind of it's like Spawn. Exactly like that. Okay, cool. All about that. Hey, guys. Uh, don't run the podcast, and I'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye. Bye. There you go. <laughs> so. Fuck, man. <laughs> What that else guy. is going on? Oh, so we're asking questions. I think I think we made our. I think we're interrupted. done with this question. Should fiasco. we not keep going? We uh, I think end on a low note, like a Dragon Ball question. I mean, you're no, really running out. It wasn't Dude, a one, Dragon Ball question. One more real question. One more real question. A Hold real on. one. Uh, that's about breast milk. Let's keep going. <laughs> uh, we already talked about her. Uh, something about the finest Cambodian. I don't know what that means. Have you ever sucked a dick? No. Jesus. Uh, where do you answer the questions? Uh, I'm just trolling. Oh shit, my bad. Averb's retiring. Uh, are you really reading influences. this right now? I'm scrolling. Fucking shit. Let me fucking scroll. What's a James Roy interview? I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, what do you think of Can uh Can City Division Van City Division? Uh, it's in Canada for sure. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, would it be possible for you to do a Serie A national team scheme in honor of the World Cup in my next battle? Uh, even I'm not that fucking suicidal, and uh, I'm not going to do that, no. Uh, I may do a Juventus bar just for my own masturbative purposes. But uh, how much did you sell the craft a single bar to Arcane for? Obviously, that's been discussed a million times. Uh, that's a really long paragraph. Are you uh, still looking for a question? Didn't uh, yeah. you answer it? Stop, stop, stop. Like uh, three. What do you think about Aver's perm? Not much about it. Uh, <laughs> he said his statement is two bills. Uh, more music on the way. Obviously, it'd be weird if I just made one song in my life and then just retired and shit. That'd be fucking weird. Uh, nope. All right. So there's no more questions to answer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not a host. My phone just died. I don't know what to talk about for the rest of the Holy show. Holy shit. My phone is dead. Uh, we went to Burger King earlier. Ugh. I felt like killing myself immediately after, as I do Didn't with you, most You had like two fucking sandwiches, though. You had like a meal for two people. I went to Burger and King, and I got ring? a chicken sandwich and a fish sandwich. I just, I literally like spit in the face of life every day I wake up. It's just constantly me just fucking shitting on the world and just being a rebel overall. You know what I'm saying? On that note. I'm just James Dean in it on my way to Taco Bell while I eat this fucking crunch wrap breakfast fucking uh, guaranteed colon cancer. Fucking, I'm, this is how I'm going to die. I'm going to die like this. Is the song mean it's over? I think we're done. Or are you just playing the song because it's tight? I mean, we. Are you gonna rap? No. You should rap. I'm not gonna do that. You should battle right now. You wanna battle? Yeah. No. Hey, this is uh, it's been the Skyler and uh, Caustic show. He put his name first. It's his fault. <laughs>